My name is Charles Laster. I am the commissary manager. I've been at the zoo for 18 years, and I have been in my current position as a manager for a year and a half. So for my staff, they come in at uh, 6 a.m., so they get here very early, and they deliver a few diets in the morning, and then they come back to the building and they do the diet prep, which takes between four and five hours. So they're in there just chopping away for most of the day. And then after lunch, we take all of the orders from the zoo. So everyone in the zoo will call our order line and place orders for wheelbarrows, rakes, shovels, maybe specialty food items. And we deliver all of that in the afternoon along with every diet we've prepped. So our, our day is very full. <laughs> um, and throughout the week, we'll get invertebrates delivered, such as millworms, cricket. Um, we'll deliver those as needed. We get live fish and we also get bones throughout the week. I also go shopping for specialty items uh, for enrichment and um, any kind of dietary needs that are happening at the time. So that's, that's a pretty common week. I mean, we're, we're busy from, from morning until the afternoon. For us, communication is the backbone of our department. People may need their diets cut a specific way. An animal may have a procedure, like a dental, and they need something removed from their diet. Uh, so we're, we are constantly talking to everybody. <laughs> and so our, our relationship is a very important one. If we don't show up and do our jobs well, it stops everyone else from being able to do their jobs well. Yeah, so one of the biggest changes that we've made in commissary since I have taken over is we're trying to go 100% green if possible. I feel like we've hit between 85 and 90%. Uh, one of the biggest changes we've made is we moved all of our diets onto tablets. So we no longer have paper notebooks. We don't have to print diets off. Uh, we've moved to biodegradable trash bags, 100% uh, recycled printer paper. Uh, those, are, those are the biggest changes we're trying to make in here is to, to move away and become 100% green. Our produce mainly comes from a company located in Kansas City, uh, and we do get two deliveries a week. So on Mondays and Fridays, we have to do a full inventory of everything we have and what we need, and then it gets delivered the next day. And then our meat and our fish, those are from rather large companies. We get those a couple times a year. Like I do a massive order and we'll get those shipped in. And then we get our hay and alfalfa come from local Kansas farmers and then all of our supplies come from a local hardware store. And we also do store a lot of stuff for other zoos. So a lot of the zoos in Kansas just do not have the freezer space that we do. So we'll get stuff shipped in and then they come pick it up from us as they need it. I'm from Bentonville, Arkansas, and at the time we didn't have any kind of local zoos or anything like that. So I honestly didn't even know this was a career path. I, I kind of fell into Wichita and I discovered that this was an option and I was like that that sounds fantastic and I went to school for it and I ended up here in 2007. I've done a little bit of everything and then I got into my position and it's been even better. <laughs> so it is a career worth having. Um, I'm glad I got into it so long ago and I see myself here for another 15, 20 years. Like it's. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> like I, I enjoy my job. I love every aspect of what the zoo does. I love everything that we get to do in the commissary. And I, and I think my people feel the same way. So I, I truly feel like we have a good environment uh, that's only gonna get better. We're, we're only gonna see growth.